it's uh, nice. It's lovely to yeah. <laughs> You know when you want to come out and look fucking cool, it's flat in your head. <laughs> did it, I did it on purpose. It's <laughs> flat every single time. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Bully you. Everyone's been bullying you, man. <laughs> I mean, that's when it's shameful, right? When he's laughing. Ah, you wanker. <laughs> It's nice, it's nice, it's nice to be here. My name is Darius, all the way, all the way from London. First time in Liverpool. Uh, where I'm from in London, it's shit. I'll give you an example of how shit it is, right? <laughs> this is how shit the part of London I live in, right? I was in Curry's the other day, I'm standing in line behind this woman, right? She was buying a television, so the cashier was taking down her contact details for TV licensing. Now the cashier asked her the following question. Can I get your street name, please? This is how shit the area I live in is, right? She replied, and I quote, I don't have a street name, I just go by Shanice. <laughs> I was the only one fucking laughing. Shanice looked at me, I got scared, it was nuts. <laughs> nice. Uh, just in case any of you are wondering about this voice, I am aware of how I sound. Uh, <laughs> don't think this has escaped me, right? Uh, I know how I sound. Why do you think I'm a fucking comedian? You can't interview at a job with this accent. <laughs> Hey, yo, fam, I know how to do spreadsheets and shit. I can do that. <laughs> I'm aware. It's not my fault, though, right? Because you need to get... You can't look, understand my background, right? My background is this. My dad is Iranian, right? My mum is Ali, as Ali G. So now you know... <laughs> I don't need your help at the back. Shut the fuck up. Um... <laughs> Put the pauses in for a reason. Huh? Nice, nice, nice to be here, man. Uh, we, <laughs> we live, ladies and gentlemen, we live in fractured times, divided times. Brexit's here, countries divided in, out, left, right, rich, poor. But there's one thing that we can all, we can all be proud of. <laughs> I'll just stay silent, you'll be talking and it'll kick you out. Now, um, <laughs> We live in divided times, rich and poor, poor, whatever, right? But here's the thing, right? As British people, or people who come from Britain, there is one thing that we can all be proud of. One thing that we do better than any other country in the world, right? We, the British, have the best, absolute best, plugs in the world. <laughs> the UK, Standard three pin plug. <laughs> oh, it makes me proud <laughs> to be British. Every time I go on holiday and I look at the travesty of the plug situations <laughs> in foreign countries, you ever, and I'm not talking about third world countries like Germany, right? You ever go on holiday and you see the plugs, the worst plug, the two-pin plug? Oh, if you come from a country with a two-pin plug, hang your head in shame. <laughs> what kind of disgrace of a plug is that? You plug in a two-pin plug, it still ain't plugged in, it just drops out the plug socket. <laughs> The UK standard three pin plug. You plug in the UK standard three pin plug. Angels come down from heaven and serenade you when you plug it in. You hear that glorious noise that only the UK standard three pin plug makes when you plug it in. <gasps> oh, oh, proud, 
to be British every time I hear the UK standard three pin plug being plugged in. If you trip over, ladies and gentlemen, an appliance plugged in with a two pin plug, that appliance will go flying, <laughs> smash against the wall and be broken forever. If you trip over the same appliance plugged in with a UK standard three pin plug, the only thing going flying is you. <laughs> straight to A&E <laughs> to fix your broken face for free on the NHS. <laughs> There's no sorrier sight than when you're on holiday and you have to take the glorious, majestic, manly UK standard three pin plug and plug it in to a two pin adapter. <laughs> then you take that sorry snake of electrical despair and you plug it into the two pin outlet propped up with books <laughs> just so your girlfriend can blow dry her hair and it doesn't even work, does it, ladies? No, because it's 120 volts, so it's basically like an old man wheezing in your head going, ah, ah, ah. How'd I look, babe? You look like Wurzel Gummidge and it's not your fault. <laughs> Proud to be British every time. I see the UK standard three pin plug, ladies and gentlemen. Look, this is when I lost all respect for the two pin plug. You know when it was? When I stood on one and I didn't even feel it. <laughs> I got it caught between my toes. I thought I was wearing a flip flop. <laughs> I only realised because I was dragging the TV behind me like, what's that? <laughs> Stand on a UK standard three pin plug. I dare you, I double dare you, right? You will start empathising with landmine victims. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're up to me, right? If I was in control, if I was in charge, it wouldn't be Visit Britain, Hope, home of Buckingham Palace. It wouldn't be Visit Britain, Tower of London. It would be Visit Britain, home of the UK standard three pin plug. <laughs> Spanish people would be coming over here on holiday going, oh, ay Dios mío. <laughs> Tres puntos. <laughs> que maravilloso. En mi país solo hay dos. I permiso, excuse me, senor, excuse me. <laughs> Can't you take a picture of me next to the plug sock? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name's Darius Davies. I'm not even a comedian, I'm from the electric electricity board. <laughs> Thank you very much, good night! <laughs>